Hi there, it's November the 8th, 2022, and we're at the Cravo Demonstration House in Irapuato, Mexico, and I'm with Arturo Gonzalez, who has been managing our demonstration training center. And I'm just gonna ask Arturo some questions to explain what his observations and experiences have been with the varieties that we've grown this year, because we're working with Berry World Diamond Jubilee and with Giddings and Black Venture uh, with the Malou and Alexa variety. So Arturo, can you just give us a quick overview on what you observed uh, in the in this for, in this cycle? Okay, so, so the the I have the two varieties, the Black Venture Genetics companies. So the first variety is Malu, the two variety is uh, Alexa. So the difference comportment is the Malu is mass early, so an Alexa. Uh, the other difference, the Malu uh, create more stumps, more more laterals, more laterals. So the Alexa is more slow. So it's the big difference. And Malu, they produce more fruit, and Alexa is more uh, how many? Uh, less, uh, less fruit. Yes. Now, one of the biggest questions we get because you're in a retractable flat roof, and you cannot keep the rain off, and we know that raspberries are very sensitive to foliar disease. What have been your experiences growing the raspberries in a flat roof where you cannot keep the plants dry? Uh, yeah, the cycle in the rind is the very difficult. So the flat roof, the permit, the rind, so uh, uh, the fog. So it is affected the flower and pollination. So the bees no, no good work it. Yep. So the pollination more... Is, is more it, it's not as, not as good. Yes. It's a poor pollination. So really, but did you have a problem with foliar disease or was the problem only with pollination? Only pollination. So the, the author's problem never, no, no disease, no fungus. So they clean the very haunted planting. So that's interesting because that kind of goes against traditional thinking because people think if you get water on leaves, you get foliar disease, but because you're opening and closing, uh, you're able to control the foliar disease with a healthy plant and able to dry it off. So uh, what 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 are what kind of bees are you using for pollination? Yeah, the, the, I recommend the, the applicate bees. So the bumblebees is more, more slow. So the bees is very more fast, the, the pollination application. Okay, so the type of bee you use will help with pollination, okay. especially when that, because you want an active bee when it's wet because it, they're not going to be as active. Yes. Perfect. And what about the yields on the plants? Because first of all, these were transplanted in 2021, right? Yes. So this is the second year that you're using the this. And what harvest did you get this year for the two? In Malu, we collected the 1,600 grams per plant. In Alexa, they recollected one, 1,300. 1,300. Per plant. Excellent. The question is, how many plants per hectare do you have in here? The 15,000. 500 plants per, per hectare. hectare. Okay, and that's more than a, a conventional tunnel. Yes, it's the, the increase the density. Now, you've been visiting growers of the same varieties using conventional tunnels. Can you just describe some of the changes? And let's start down here. What did you do with pruning? And what are the changes that you observe in the plant compared to the conventional tunnel? The, I compared the, the planting in Crabble compared with a uh, Macrotoon. They exist in different uh, comportments. For example, in Cravo, the shark middle, 80 centimeters, the shark. The, the laterals, the, the, fruit, laterals. the fruiting the fruit. laterals, fruiting laterals are in the top 80 centimeters of yes. the plant. In macro tunnel is the 40 centimeters. So it's more short, the sharks, yeah, the Cravo is more large. Yep. So the more large, more fruit, more flowers, more harvest. So when you got the plants, let's go back to the beginning. Did you you prune these, right? Yes. And so now you have what four stems per per plant? Yes, the four laterals per plant. So the the picket, the the planting, in the increase the forty centimeters the picket. So they increase the the one lateral. So the so you get laterals. four. Okay. So you're 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 pruning to get four laterals. And the big change that you're seeing is you're getting fruiting laterals on the top 80 centimeters, whereas it's normally in the 40 centimeters in a microtunnel. And in terms of the number of fruit per plant, 
What would you estimate what your harvest is going to be in the number of fruit per plant here? The fruit per plant is the 14, 14 flowers per plant. For, for, for lateral. 14, so the, 14 fruit per lateral. Yes. Okay. The, one, the one plant contains the 100 fruits per plant. Fr fruiting laterals per yeah. plant. Okay, very good. And <clears throat> the other thing is you've gone through a lot of learning this season. Um, we've now automated this roof to be separate from the strawberries. Uh, how do you know when to open and when to close and how far to close? So what are the rules that you've learned for managing the cooling roof? Yeah, for example, uh, the, the raspberry support the high, the high hot. So 26 degrees breeze. So the more, the more, the more height is the close the roof. So, so at 20, so when the leaf temperature is 26 degrees, yes, you close the roof. Yes. And when do you retract or open the roof in the morning? In the morning, the 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. it opens. And what's the temperature outside? Yes, the closing and um, 10 a.m. Okay, but in the morning at 6 a.m., what would be the temperature outside right now when you open? Yes. Now, what is the temperature? At the the, the open the te outside. The, uh, 16, the 16 degrees Celsius or 26. So you open above 16 and you close above 28 yes. leaf temperature. And how far are you closing the roof? 3%. So you leave a 3% opening. And you have misting in here because the relative humidity is very low here. Yes. We're at 1,700 meters here? Yes. Okay. so. You have high radiation, low humidity, and the raspberry plant likes high humidity. So we are retracting the roof in the morning to get more light, to push the plant, yes. to get the fr fruiting laterals. But at above 26, 28 degrees, you're closing 97%. And then you're using the mist. And how much time is the mist on? And then how much time off? So you have it on for three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds? Five, five seconds in close, five seconds in open. The, the misting. Yes. So five seconds on, five seconds off. So. Yes. Excellent. And you know, when I look at the plants here, they're definitely clean. Uh, have you had any problems with insects? No, there are no problems with this. The, the plant is here looking very healthy, so you sure? So it's so you'll have really good harvest this season. Yes. yes. <laughs> Very good. Well, there's a quick update uh, from Arturo, who's been managing this in combination with our partners, uh, Berry World and Giddings and Black Venture. And uh, we look forward to again following this through the uh, season. One key thing to, to note is one of the most difficult times to get harvest here in central Mexico is coming into the winter because the tunnels get too cold and the days become too short. And so this planting date was specifically to target harvest going into the Christmas season. So it's November 8th right now. We're gonna be harvesting in about two weeks. So we will be getting a good harvest at the time of the year where production is at the lowest. So thanks again for your, your attention and we will give you a further update later on in the year.